first, 2020 was the last time that anyone was able to witness a dunk like that happen right here at the People's United Center. Now today, November 12, 2021, marks a new chapter in Quinnipiac men's basketball, welcoming fans back to the People's United Center. Tonight felt like a blast from the past. There were fans, media, halftime competitions, and Kevin Marfo was playing basketball for Quinnipiac. It was a comfortable feeling. It was a feeling that head coach Baker Dunleavy said was missing during all of last year's COVID riddled season. It's just, it feels natural, it feels good, but it does feel different. And like I said, it's, it's a relief probably more than anything. Even though fans missed an entire season of basketball last year, there was still a healthy showing of seasoned veterans. Me too, 12 years season ticket holder. As well as the new fans. Oh, I'm a first year. That look to acquaint themselves with this year's version of the Quinnipiac men's basketball team. The energy, I love when we win. We have a great hockey team, a good basketball team. Like, it's just fun overall. Honestly, for me, it's hearing the boom from my father. Um, after I hit a three, I just, that's just, it just clicks in my head. It gave us a sense that things could be taken away from us and we can't take anything for granted um, ever. It was a back and forth game to start, but Quinnipiac was able to shake the cobwebs off and go on a 24-0 run to end the first half. It was another standout game for senior guard Matt Belonk, who finished with 17 points to co-lead the team in scoring. As a whole, the Bobcats were able to go 16 for 36 from beyond, good for over 44% from deep. Quinnipiac will look to follow up the 103-point performance on Monday night when they welcome in Holy Cross, the first Division I team to visit the People's United Center this season. Jack Main, Q30 Sports.